A belt converter CSRS makes a school bus seat that's equipped with a lap belt into a seat with a five point harness. Although belt converter designs are fairly simple, variations do exist, so always check instructions. They'll explain installation and all adjustment features. To install a belt converter CSRS, orient the CSRS on the bus seat by finding the two straps with looped ends that will go over the child's body. With these straps hanging down the front of the bus seat back, lay the upper portion of the cam wrap over the back of the bus seat back. Run the other end of the cam wrap downward along the front of the school bus seat back and then through the seat bite. It will likely be necessary to raise the seat cushion to feed the strap through the bite. Before lowering the seat cushion, hold the crotch strap so it remains on the seating side of the bite when the cushion is lowered and relocked. Leave enough of the crotch strap webbing on the seating side of the bite to match the size of the particular child who will be riding in the CSRS. This means you'll need to make sure that it is just long enough to run under the seated child and up to loop easily around the lap belt, which should run across the child's lap. From behind the seat, buckle the cam wrap, being sure there are no twists. Note that it is appropriate that the buckle's button faces toward the seat back, not outward. This is a typical design meant to make the release button less accessible to children. Now it's time to tighten the cam wrap. So that the tightening process doesn't shift the position of the crotch strap, place a hand at the top of the cam wrap to steady it while pulling on the loose end of the cam wrap strap. Pull hard on the cam wrap strap directly away from the buckle until all slack has been removed. The cam wrap should be tight enough that the padding indents a little at the top of the school bus seat back. Once the CSRS is tight, recheck the positioning of the straps. If the crotch strap has come out of position, pull hard on the cam wrap in the direction necessary to spin it around the school bus seat back to restore the proper crotch strap length. The straps that go over the body should end near the seat cushion but adjusters are provided for these straps, so their length can be changed after the child is seated if necessary. To properly secure a child in a belt converter CSRS, place the two shoulder straps over the seated child. It's crucial that the straps end at the top of the child's thighs. If they're too long, the child will not be held securely. And if they're too short, the loops will pull the lap belt upward onto the child's soft belly rather than pelvic bone, which can cause injury in a crash. So if either of these straps sags at the child's lap or ends above the lap, follow instructions to make corrections using the provided adjusters. Also, note that the child should sit on top of the crotch strap and a length of this strap that is just long enough to loop over a properly used lap belt should emerge in front of them. If the crotch strap's length was not properly set during the installation, return to the installation instructions to resize it. Some models provide a belt adjusting mechanism for the crotch strap, while others must adjust by rotating the cam wrap around the seat back, as was shown during the installation step. Either way, Unseat the child to make adjustments to the crotch strap length if necessary. Now route the lap belt through the loops of the belt converter according to instructions, starting with the one closest to the lap belt's latch plate. When routing through the crotch strap loop, use the back of the hand toward the child as much as possible. Note that this belt converter model has one crotch strap loop while others have two crotch strap loops. When that's the case, Follow the instructions for how to thread both loops during this step. After you've run the lap belt through all the belt converter strap loops, buckle the seat belt and snug it up by pulling the loose end of the lap belt away from the buckle. Check to confirm that the lap belt runs low, touching the child's thighs, and is not twisted, pinched, or pulled out of position by the CSRS. Secure the retainer clip and test for snugness at the shoulders. 
A properly snug belt converter will pass the pinch test, but may not seem quite as snug as the harness of other CSRS types. Even though you've preset the shoulder strap lengths, this final fit check is important. If either or both straps sag on the child or can be pinched between the fingers, shorten them using the provided adjusters following instructions. but be careful not to over tighten. The loop should never pull the seatbelt upward off of the child's lap. 